I marvel, my brothers and sisters, about how God uses massive numbers of real people in real life to glorify his one and only son, Jesus, equals 888. That is the universal truth of the entire universe and the entire um, story of history is that all things are for the glory of this one number, 888, 888. Jesus equals 888. For whom and by whom are all things, to whom be the glory forever and ever. So marvel in this next example at how this is, this number, 600,000, is a number of individual people that God ordained to glorify his son, Jesus equals 888. So the next time you feel like being afraid of one silly person or submitting to the will of some Christless, ungodly person, um, or apologizing to other individual people, just meditate on this fact that God ordained 600,000 mortal humans to be in occurrence together to glorify His one and only Son, Jesus equals 888. And continue to fix your eyes on Jesus and continue to live for the glory of Jesus and continue to serve Jesus because he will trounce all the millions and billions of mortal godless people in the world. You just keep watching and be convinced of that. So Exodus 12 verse 37. Then the children of Israel journeyed from Ramesses to Sakoth, 600,000 men on foot besides children. Remember class, as you know by now, <laughs> every single number that's in the Bible is there for the glory of Jesus. There are more numbers in the Bible than the words God, Lord, and Jesus combined by far. And that is because God loves numbers and uses them in the highest level possible to glorify Jesus equals 8 to 8. So 600,000 people left Egypt. This is the deliverance of Israel from Egypt. So there were 600,000 men recorded, which divides by eight perfectly. And furthermore, it divides by eight again perfectly. It divides by 15 perfectly, which is seven n plus one. And then this gorgeous string of fives on the end. So eight is the central number of the Bible. <laughs> you, you get that one fact that everything is for Jesus equals eight at eight, and all of a sudden your eyes are opened to all of the numbers in the Bible. Every single thousand divides by eight. Every single thousand, no matter what it is, 1,000, 22,000, 600,000, 13,000, every single thousand divides by eight and therefore glorifies Jesus equals eight at eight. Now your eyes are being awakened to all of the numbers in the Bible and why they're there. They're a giant treasure trove for the king. So again, so this is the number of people who leave Egypt. <laughs> okay? And then God God orchestrates <laughs> Egypt to come after them. And he does that to increase the mathematical glory to Jesus equals 8 at 8. He could have just had them happily leave Egypt, you know, singing and dancing all the way, but he decides to bring more glory to his son by having the Egyptian armies follow him. Are you starting to get more fear of God in your heart by the fact that he will just grab a hold of entire clusters of people and say, I'm going to use you for the mathematical glory of my son because you've been rebellious your whole life and you need to be judged and so you're going to literally be judged in death while bringing mathematical glory to my son Jesus. Fear God. This is a real life story that we're about to read here. So Pharaoh the king of Egypt, the king of the most powerful nation on earth. That would be the equivalent to, you think of whatever powerful nation you want to think of in this day and age. But Pharaoh follows with this number of choice chariots. Pharaoh takes 600 choice chariots and all the chariots of Egypt with captains over every one of them. <laughs> why, why this detail of 600? You know class, it's there for the glory of Jesus. It didn't just say, also, by the way, Pharaoh took a whole bunch of chariots. No, it says 600. 600 for the glory of Jesus equals 8 at 8. So, 600, 
emphasizes the fact that this original number, 600,000, is for the glory of G is equals 8 to 8. 600 equals 8, divides by 8 perfectly, 8 times 15 times 5. Do you see the beautiful parallel heel? Oh, look, this is gorgeous. So look at the parallel. This is to solidify the stamp of the number series in the first. So the number of people who left Egypt are 600,000, which is 8 times 8 times 15 times a string of fives, and the chariots that followed were 600, which is 8 times 15 times 5. Could not be any more dramatically parallel couldn't possibly be any more dramatically parallel. And yes, if you want to add those two numbers together, 600,000 plus 600, so you get this, two 600s literally written side by side. See how beautiful that is? There's, there's the number added together. Boom, boom, those two numbers together. You, you, you pull the math on that beautiful number, and you see the 8s and the 15s and the 5s, and you will be delighted. 8 and 15 are both 7n plus 1, God number series. Do the math. Jesus Christ is God. Jesus equals 888. He is the one and only triple eight man to ever live because he is God, for whom and to whom and by whom are all things forever and ever. Amen. Wow. And so now that we've solved um, these individual numbers here, folks, I'd, I'd just like you to close your eyes and actually picture how epic this real life story actually is. Picture in your mind's eye 600,000 people. A literal, because this will set you free from the fear of man like crazy. This will set you free from considering th you know, the fear of man in any decision that you make, whether you should please people or not. Consider a, an ocean of 600,000 people before your very eyes. And these people are just a massive, glorious mob of people walking on foot out of Egypt in, in, in massive drama. Like, this is massive drama. They've got cattle. They've got, you know, all sorts of possessions. There's dust everywhere. There's donkeys everywhere. There's all sorts of life and activity in a massive drove. Well, folks, that entire drove of people in real human history brings about one number that glorifies the one number that is the central of everything. Jesus equals 8 8. And now you understand what the Bible says and what Jesus says when he means the kingdom of heaven is likened unto a man that forsakes everything for the one pearl of great price. Now you understand why, you know, over and over, the Bible says that Jesus is everything. He is all in all. He is all you need. He is the pearl of great price. That a man will forsake all the peoples and fame and popularity and accolades of men in all the world for. Because when you understand that individual numbers of massive amounts of people are in the Bible, ultimately for the glory of this one person, Jesus equals 8 at 8, you understand who it becomes truly important to serve. And that is Jesus. Hallelujah. Wow. If you know Jesus, this is a joyful, joyful revelation that you yourself can now see in the Bible, his name stamped everywhere. And you can be a part, you can delight yourself in knowing why the numbers are there now. Now, you, now you're understanding that God orchestrates numbers of things to glorify Jesus equals 8 and 8. And you can apply this to your individual life. You can do things in multiples of 8 to glorify Jesus equals 8 and 8. And you watch how God blesses you. You mark my words. If you are a businessman, if you are an entrepreneur, if you are a, a, a wealthy man, that uh, wants to glorify Jesus equals 888 in your business. If you want to call the name of your business 888 with, with a 888 in it and say you, you do that to glorify your Savior, Jesus. And if you want to sell your products in multiples of 8 and you want to tag things with this number 888 and say that you do it explicitly for the glory of Jesus, you watch how God blesses you. Because God has been glorifying this number 888 from the dawn of history. Even before these numbers were written down in the Bible, God has been glorifying this number, 888. So if you will take a chance 
It's not even taking a chance. If you will step out and venture with God and stamp everything that you do to the glory of this number, you watch how God blesses you. And you watch how you are literally glorifying Jesus equals 888 and you confess it to people and you say, I do this for the glory of the king and he blesses us. Period. Plain and simple. Plain and simple. In whatever walk of life you are in, there are numbers involved in what you do throughout the day. In, in your business, in your work, in, 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 in everything. Every, numbers apply to everyone in every language. And so, my goodness, my goodness, once you know that this number is the center of everything, you work for Jesus. And, and even in the numbers that you use throughout your life, and if you have the choices to make um, as a businessman, you, you make those choices to glorify Jesus. And you watch how God blesses you. Hallelujah. And know, my friends, that this is all for the cause of love. Truth is love. Love equals eight exactly in Hebrew. Jesus is the king of love. If you will live for love and you will live for Jesus, God's, God's favor is on you massively. But the Bible says if you reject Jesus and you reject the love of God, his wrath is upon you and you will ultimately be struck down dead and die in hell. That is how epic the story of God is. That is how holy God is. It is life and death. It is blessing and cursing, as the Bible says. If you will serve Jesus, blessing in abundance. If you will reject Jesus and reject the gift of God, cursing in abundance. It is that dramatic. Choose Jesus. Choose life. Choose the truth. And cling to it for dear life. And if you want true blessing, you cling to this man with all your heart and all your soul. Hallelujah. So keep watching all these videos. Know that Jesus himself is eternal. You are living eternally. If you have received Jesus Christ as Savior and Lord, rejoice in that. And um, absolutely continue to watch all these videos so that you can see. Uh, oh, so you can see. You can see for yourself a glorious aspect of your Savior that you have never seen before which is his mathematical brilliance. Folks, God is the greatest mathematician of all time. He is the king of numbers. And so he glorifies himself with numbers. And for you to see how he does that and the ways in which he does do that will empower you to serve him in a higher level than you've ever done before. And you will appreciate and you will worship him like you've never worshipped him before. The fact that you're breathing element eight to stay alive and that you now know that love equals eight centralizes the focus of your life. Folks, imagine if an entire country was educated in this truth. Can you imagine? I've imagined it constantly because I'm praying God for it. Can you imagine if an entire country was educated in the truth that love equals eight and Jesus equals 888 and the Bible is loaded with eight from start to finish and we're all breathing element eight to stay alive. Can you imagine what that would do for a generation of children and ultimately a generation of humanity to know that love equals eight is the center of everything that God desires for our society and that's what our society in our nation is going to be built on. Thank you very much. And we've all been taught it and we've all been educated in it from day one. We all know it's the truth. We've all seen it with our own eyes. It's all undeniable. We can all prove it mathematically to each other and now it's love. It's love, it's love city. It's what God desires for mankind, which is real dignity, real love, real society, real happiness through Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. So, you yourself watch all of these videos. Take them as, at whatever pace you can handle, as much as you can listen to and watch, and then, and then find it in yourself to pass some of these on to other people in the church. Begin with the church, and then you pass it on to lost people. You can send this to anyone. We're all breathing element eight to stay alive. We all have eight stamped all over our bodies. We're all made for Jesus. We're all made for love. Everyone wants this truth. Everyone wants to see the truth of God and know that they are loved by Christ. So, in the name of Jesus, let these truths and these proofs prosper. Let them spread in the name of Jesus Christ. I pronounce blessing over this truth and this material of God's word to spread and be blessed and to be received by more and more people in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.